as more demographic and qualitative data become available, we see how the COVID-19 crisis disproportionately impacts low-income individuals and individuals of color. Our Healthy Places Index with COVID indicators provides COVID-related health, economic, and neighborhood-level data to help communities and jurisdictions identify and support those communities that may face increased health and equity risks associated with the impacts of COVID. This HPI tool will provide you with the data you need to help you make decisions that protect and improve the health and well-being of all members of your community during this particularly challenging time. Let's take a look at our interactive map and the suite of COVID-related indicators you can access. Our HPI map with COVID indicators is accessible at covid19.healthyplacesindex.org. You'll see it looks much the same as our regular Healthy Places Index map. By default, the map loads the HPI, and you can still access all of the core HPI indicators. In addition, we've retained all of the functionality of our existing HPI map tool, including the ability to view multiple geographies, the rank and pool function, as well as our reporting tool. What's special about this site is our COVID-related indicators that are accessible here. Through this function, you can explore all of our new indicators. We've curated our COVID-related indicators into six categories. Cumulative county COVID-19 counts, COVID-19 vulnerable populations, COVID-19 associated health risk factors, healthcare infrastructure, socioeconomic and community conditions, and race ethnicity. To access the indicators contained within each category, you can just click the down arrow. Under cumulative county COVID-19 counts, if you are interested in COVID-19 cases, you can click view on map. So let's zoom into a location. You can view the number of cases in a county by hovering over on the map here. So you can see the cases that's in that little pop-up there. So now if you're interested in deaths, you would click view on map next to county COVID-19 deaths and death rate by race ethnicity. With deaths, not only can you get the absolute number, we've also produced charts showing the death rate per 100,000 population by race ethnicity. If you click on the map, you'll see these charts that load in the sidebar here. Note that not all counties are reporting deaths by race ethnicity. In those cases, the chart will show the overall death rate per 100,000. So for example, here. Let's go back and take a look at some of the other indicators we've included. Under our COVID-19 vulnerable populations, we have six indicators describing elderly populations, including seniors with disabilities, seniors living alone, linguistically isolated seniors, and seniors in poverty. We also have other populations at high risk, such as outdoor workers, the chronically disabled, and students eligible for free and reduced meal programs. Under our COVID-19 associated health risk factors, we've got the population distribution of chronic conditions like high blood pressure, asthma, coronary heart disease, diabetes, obesity, chronic kidney disease, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. We also have the population distribution of certain health risk behaviors, such as current smoking, as well as poor physical health. Under our healthcare infrastructure category, we include hospital beds per capita, medically underserved areas, and health professional shortage areas. Under socioeconomic and community conditions, we include such indicators as adults with health insurance, measures of housing security, such as habitability, crowdedness, and cost burden, income, poverty, and unemployment, a pollution measure, PN2.5, active commuting, as well as park and supermarket access. Finally, we've also included a category of indicators describing race ethnicity. I also want to note that nearly all of these indicators are available at the census track level. So let's take a look at one of our vulnerable population indicators, for example. We'll take a look here at seniors living alone. You'll see that this indicator is available at the census track level. If you're interested in viewing a different geography, such as city or county, that's accessible through our geography switcher in the legend here. So if you were interested in seeing this indicator at the city level, you can see it, or even at the county level. The indicator is recalculated at these specific levels, so you can get an estimate of each of these indicators. Overall, this new and expanded set of indicators can be used for a number of resource prioritization or allocation tasks. 
Let's explore a few potential use cases that dive deep into the power of HPI. First, while K-12 schools remain closed due to the statewide shelter-in-place order, many of you are working hard to ensure that families are still able to provide food for their children during this critical time. The HPI can assist you in developing interventions for those areas of your county at greatest risk of food insecurity during this time. For example, we can use the Students Eligible for Free and Reduced Meal Program indicator, and counties can determine at the census tract level those areas of their community most in need of additional food assistance. To view the Students Eligible for Free and Reduced Meal Program, we'll click on View on Map. Now, say we were interested in a different county, so let's take a look at Kern County. Now you can quickly identify the census tracts within Kern County that have the greatest percentage of students on the free and reduced meal program by using the rank function, which is available here. So to get started, you'll type in the, lo in the location you want to rank within. In this case, we're interested in Kern County, so we'll type in Kern County. The map will then load a list of all the tracks ordered by the percent of students eligible for the free and reduced meal program. By default, it shows you the lowest to the highest. If you want to see the highest, you'll click these arrows here. Now if we zoom in, you can see that the census tract with the highest percentage of students eligible for the free and reduced meal program is outlined here in orange. If you hover over the track names in the list, it will also uh, show you on the map in orange where those tracks are located. Here near Bakersfield, most of the census tracts within Kern County that have the highest percentage of students eligible for the free and reduced meal program are located around the same area. This may be where you'd want to focus your outreach for additional food assistance. To take another example, we also know that many counties are starting to look at the disparate health impacts of COVID-19 on certain populations in our communities. The HPI can help you design interventions for those individuals and communities most vulnerable to the negative health impacts of COVID-19. Let's go to Riverside County. You may want to know those census tracts with the greatest number of elderly adults over 75. So let's go back to our COVID-related indicators and we'll go and turn on our count of seniors 75 plus indicator. The areas in dark blue on the map are those neighborhoods with more seniors. And as with the previous example, you could even use the rank function to find the neighborhood with the most seniors in the entire county. Or, as more data starts to show us that African American communities and communities of color are disproportionately impacted by the negative health impacts of COVID-19, you may want to know which neighborhoods and cities have the largest percentage of African American residents. We'll take a look at Los Angeles again. Alright, first let's view that layer on the map. So we'll go to our race and ethnicity category. Now on this map, areas in green have a higher number of African Americans. What if you wanted to know, for example, which city had the largest percentage of African American residents? To find out, first let's switch the map to the city view. So right now we're viewing census tracts, but we're interested in cities. Now we'll go into the rank function and we want to rank cities within Los Angeles. So let's look at Los Angeles County. By default, it shows us the lowest percent of tracks first, but we can change that by clicking the arrows here, just like with the previous example. Now we can see that View Park Windsor Hills is the place with the greatest proportion of African Americans. These are just a few ways that our new COVID-19 map and indicators can be used in your work. Through this map, the Alliance is working to support our partners in their efforts to address and mitigate the impacts of this pandemic on those members of their communities most vulnerable to COVID-19. To that end, we're updating the cumulative COVID cases and death counts every day and plan to add new data layers to assist you in your work. Check back often to see what's new.